knock him off real quick. Yeah. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Bye, bud. Oh, God, it's dead. <laughs> hey. Poor fella. He doesn't like it. No, of course not. Uh-uh, you stay. You stay. Here's your toy. There oh, you go. Yeah. He likes to bite. There you go. All right, buddy. It's a bad habit. We'll say bye bye. Oh shit! <laughs> All right, let me go get that me. dog's crazy, man. I wanted to give you guys just a quick little uh, a quick little tour of the inside of my office here. So this is my nine to five. Uh, this this is my office. So let me set you guys up and show you what we got from a driving point of view. So of course we're looking out my window. And we're in front of a dumpster now that's being filled with like a marble type, uh, some type of a synthetic marble. And um, it's for like countertops and all types of stuff like that. And things that they make that uh, that comes out bad, we haul it to the landfill. And that stuff's really super heavy. So that's half loaded. And then they're going to put some toward the back of the can. And then I'll snatch it up. And I got a can on my truck right now. Um, so what, if they're live loading, actively loading, what I'll do is I'll just leave my cable connected and I'll drop my can to the ground and they'll load it and then I'll just pull the can right back up and go to the landfill and then come back and then they can continue to load the, uh, the other dumpsters that are here. But we deal, I mean, we deal with all types of companies. You got Atlantic Waste, you got this blue, we got waste management. We got all types of companies here that they use. So they spread the wealth pretty well. Uh, but anyways, let me give you a, like I said, let me give you a tour of my truck and how I keep things set up. So I keep the visors. Somebody who had this truck before me writes all over the visor, whatever. I don't know. Um, but I keep, I keep my truck really super clean. And, you know, up here we got little pockets that we keep things. I got spare sunglasses and I got baby wipes and I got... Uh, dish soap to wash your hands with I got spray bottle and stuff on the other side there but you know of course you got your instrument cluster we run the, the Mac granites is what they're called uh, this is a 2005 I believe it's got 500,000 miles on it a half a million miles uh, but it's the Mac granite I just put this steering wheel cover on it didn't have a steering wheel cover and it's like all it was all pretty gnarly man mm, nasty so I got this steering wheel cover. I actually just paid for it with my own money to make a nice grip here. But the instrument cluster, you got your transmission temperature to monitor, engine oil pressure. And you see it climbs. Pressure climbs as you uh, increase RPM. Engine oil temp, your tack, your water temp, fuel, speed. There's your brain. It tells you your engine hours, your trip, your odometer. Probably doesn't show on video. Um, and then tank one and tank two, your air pressure tanks right here to monitor. Uh, and then accessories would go here. And um, we got a city horn and we got an air horn. And then as you heard, my phone, my iPhone sits here. So it's suction cupped up there. And you know, that way I can just quickly access what I need to access. I got Bluetooth on my neck. So if somebody calls, I can see who's calling me and I can hit the button on my neck and go from there. My reading glasses are here, wipers, wash, engine brake, um, your speed control on. That's, that's on and then that's set, accelerate, decelerate. Uh, here's to lock your differential back there so you can lock. Normally this will be um, two wheel drive back there. Well, I don't wanna say two wheel drive, but you know, the, the back axle and then you lock it and you get that warning buzzer and now all eight wheels one two three four five six seven eight all eight wheels now have traction instead of just four uh, so that helps with the landfill sometimes when it's muddy uh, it's an automatic here we go so there you have your reverse neutral and drive two-way radio right here with the speaker right there and you know you've got your little clip right here and so what some of us do is we'll clip it and then we spin it and that keeps this from being like all saggy and everything we don't want to be saggy uh, we got our radio AM FM CD auxiliary in so we can plug that into um, our phones if we want to listen to our music or whatever 
air conditioning, although my air conditioning is out right now. There's a hole in the line. They ordered it yesterday. It should be here today or tomorrow, and my AC will be back up. Um, you know, it's got a half a million miles on it, so whatever was here is gone. I don't know what was here. Uh, his cigarette lighter, uh, extra USB, extra USB for my GPS and for my tablet, cup holders, and I always keep a towel to catch any spills, and um, GPS, the Garmin GPS, I actually super glued the disc in a couple spots just to keep it on the dash, and then the suction cup mount right to it, and that way when I'm driving, I don't have to reach. I can access everything real simple right here. Everything's just, you see, I, I mean, I got everything like right here as I'm driving. And then this is our tablet. So this tells us our jobs right here. And you can go from here, you can just hit map and it's gonna map to your location or tell you how to get there. So this will run you and I'm there. Um, now, if I need to go from here to another location, I can put it in here or I can put it in there. The Garmin is more accurate than the Google Maps that's on this tablet. This one is, is more accurate. And, if, and although I need to bring this, this Garmin home, I need to plug it into my computer and um, update it. This is about 90% accurate, but not nearly as accurate as the Garmin. That, that thing's really good. Uh, this is supposed to illuminate to let you know that you got your PTOs on. So you're not driving with your PTOs on because you could burn up your PTO. Um, so anyways, that's here and we do a lot of our work here. You know, a lot of our paperwork is done on the tablet and then also on here. And I actually purchased this, um, this cover because you keep your weight tickets and stuff in here nice and neat. And you know, I can write nice and neat on here and I keep that in my little mat pocket right here. I keep. Lysol disinfecting wipes so I can wipe my hands and stuff. My, my um, hard hat for going on construction sites and the landfill. Turns on your PTOs, turns on your, your back work lights. Raise and lower your boom. Um, let out and bring in your hoist cable. And then I got my VCR right here which is your vehicle condition report. I bought this black uh, case and I keep it right here out of the way. Why do I not keep this in here? Because if it's, when the two of them are in here, then my paper gets messed up. And after doing this a bunch of times a day, um, then we have a, we have a problem. Um, when I turn my paperwork in, it looks like trash and I don't, I don't like to look like trash. So there's that. And then, you know, people before me were slobs and they got pens and stuff in their hand hitting here, but whatever. And I put a bungee cord up here and it holds my paper towels. So I quickly can access my paper towels. Um, I keep spare rags in my truck so I can wipe things down as I need to. Here's a big beater bar. Sometimes you got to beat the handle on these cans to open them. So I got that right here. I got some bungee cords I just stole from the shop today. So that's my office in a nutshell. Oh, here I keep I keep a paintbrush so I can wipe things down. Instrument panel stuff like that hand soap for washing my hands spray bottle extra water and then there's window wash in there too window spray um, that's something I purchased for lumbar support for my back but I'm not gonna keep it and then uh, yeah there we go granite so that's what we got going on that's my office man this is my nine to five right here guys this is what I do um, I say nine to five, but actually a heck of a lot more than that. But I mean, I enjoy it. This is my office. I clean the shit out of my truck and um, every day it gets destroyed. And every every day I vacuum out the inside when I go through the fuel line, I vacuum it out. And then um, every morning I pressure wash the truck every single morning. And that's what we do.